Ronin is a character created by the artist Neko in a series of illustrations called Voslander. She has been produced as a Figma by Max Factory. Similar to the previous designs by Neko, there is no official manga or story for this character. A Ronin is a wandering samurai in feudal Japan who have lost their masters. In fiction and literature, ronins are often mysterious characters who have hunting pasts. Inside the box is an art card featuring the character design. There's not a lot of information about Ronin here. There's also a piece of paper with instructions on how to attach the accessories. One side is in Japanese, and the other side is in English. We also have the usual Figma stand, spare hands, and a Figma zip bag. Here we have the main figure, an extra head and the faceplate, another extra faceplate, a very long sword or nodachi, a wanderer's hat or kasa, a short blade, and a torso part. Ronin has a slender build similar to the other characters designed by Neko. You can see the artist's DNA on the design. She sports traditional Japanese wear on top of a futuristic suit. Starting from the head, she has black short hair with fringes, her eyes are purple and look somewhat sleepy, and her expression is cold. The character has a uniform akin to the plug suits worn by Evangelion pilots. It has white, yellow, and silver details and lines. The other false slander characters have a similar design aesthetic with slightly different details on their suits. Ronin has samurai arm guards with contrasting gloss finish from the matte suit. The torso sculpt accentuates the muscles of the female body. Ronin wears a hakama, a lower body garment worn during feudal Japan. The outer layer has a wave pattern that continues to the back. The kanji translation for Ronin is ro, which means wave or unrestrained, and nin, which means human. The gold and black detail makes a nice contrast with the dark gray, and light gray straps adorn the sides. The waistband has its own deep purple and gold patterns, forming a ribbon at the back. Underneath the outer layer is the pleated part of the hakama. An interesting diamond pattern can be seen at the back similar to what is seen on winter clothing. Her head can turn 360 degrees and it can move side to side. And she can look up and down with a good range of motion. Her arms can go side to side and can rotate 360 degrees on the shoulder. 
she has additional articulation just above the elbow joint with a 360 degree turn. This added articulation allows for more dynamic poses and improved range of motion. Elbows bend more than 90 degrees and her hands have 360 degrees rotation as well. The hands can bend in different directions depending on where the joint is orientated. You can rotate the chest part 360 degrees and she can slightly bend side to side. She has a good torso bend going forward but not much going back. You can see the joints at her back when bending forward. You can also move her hips where it connects to the hakama. At the back, we have the waistband ribbons which can rotate 360 degrees and has a joint that allows it to move up and down or sideways depending on the orientation of the joint. The outer layer at the back is the only fixed part. The outer layers of her hakama can move sideways with a joint near the hip part and can slightly rotate as well. Moving these parts would reveal the pleats underneath. The one in the middle can move side to side. The lower half has points of articulation as well. This is what it looks like under the hakama and you can see where the joints that provide movement are located. To see the articulation on her legs, we need to detach the hakama, connect the torso part, and reattach the legs. Her lower extremities can move sideways, forward and backward, with a good range of motion. It can also rotate on the hip joints. Her knees can bend this much, and the feet can rotate 360 degrees on the ankles, but no side-to-side -side motion. There's a joint that allows you to move her feet backward and forward. Ronin has five pairs of hands, a pair of closed fists, a pair for holding the short blade, slightly opened hands, fully opened hands, one hand for holding her nodachi, and another for holding a scabbard. She has three faceplates, a calm and relaxed face, a serious fighting face looking at her left, and a peaceful meditating face. She has an extra head part that allows you to connect her hat or kasa. It has a gray strap that runs across and hangs on the front, has holes to help her see ahead while it's on, and a family crest or kamon. She has a short blade or tanto, and the handle on the sheeted one can be removed to emulate her drawing it from the sheath. The sheath has a peg that connects to Ronin's hakama. Her weapon of choice is a very long samurai sword or nodachi with a traditional samurai sword design. You can put the sword inside the scabbard. Here you can see the pommel, the handle, the handguard, the blade collar, and the blade itself where you can identify the ridge, the edge, and the point. The scabbard is detailed enough to have an end cap, a cord, a knob, and a scabbard mouth. Figma Ronin comes with the usual flaws like mold lines and some paint imperfections. But the details on this figure can easily draw your eyes away from them. The Nodachi and Scabbard would have been perfect if they added a bit more detail on the handle and the blade. But if you're into customization or figure painting, 
you could easily make it look better. The smaller details on the suit add great value to the figure and overall look. I love how they played with texture and color. The contrast between matte and gloss finish, the shiny gold on black, different shades of purple, and the patterns from the original design were executed well. The outer layer of the hakama could have been sculpted to look more like fabric, but I'm not that bothered about it. I love how you can see her muscles and soft curves in every angle, and playing with light and shadows accentuates them even better. Overall, Max Factory made another awesome action figure. I love how they executed the sculpt on the torso, and the different textures and patterns make it stand out. Future designs by Neko is something I'd look out for. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can support my channel by hitting like and subscribe. My name is Al, and I'll see you on the next one.